Hello and welcome to Study IQ. Today we are going to discuss about Christianity. We are going to talk about sainthood. You can see the news here, the Vatican news that an Indian martyr Deva Sahayam has been cleared for sainthood. In this video, we are going to understand who is this Deva Sahayam? Why was he cleared for sainthood? What is the meaning of clearing sainthood? How can one become a saint? Now, if we try to understand this term saint, we can compare it with Indian traditional knowledge. Saints can be compared to gurus from Sikhism, bodhisattvas from Buddhism, rishis, gurus or sages from Hinduism. But when you talk about the Catholic Church, a person can be declared saint only by the Vatican. Only Pope can pass a decree telling a person he is a saint. Now, when a person is declared as a saint, that means they are in the kingdom of God. They are in heaven with God. So, it's a prestigious thing declared to be declared saint. So, let's try to understand what exactly happened here. We'll understand the story of Deva Sahayam and in general, we'll talk about the sainthood itself in Christianity. To get to know all this information, stay with me on Study IQ. I am your friend Rahul Sai Gaonkar. You can follow me on the ID at the rate Rahul Sai 222. And if you are preparing for competitive exams, then do visit studyiq.com or download the app from Google Play Store. And if you are preparing for Kerala PSC or Tamil Nadu PSC, where this section is very, very relevant because we are going to talk about uh, Travancore, we are going to talk about Tamil Nadu because Deva Sahayam was from Tamil Nadu itself. It becomes very relevant for you. So stay tuned to get all those details. Let's first talk about the news. As I told you, a Hindu man from Kanyakumari district in Tamil Nadu who got converted to Christianity in 18th century to be precise in 1745. He is all set to become the first Indian layman to be declared a saint. He is going to be declared a saint from 15th May 2022. After the entire process is completed, we will understand the process also. From 2022, Deva Sahayam Pillai who took the name of Lazarus when he embraced Christianity. He is going to become the first lay person or a layman saint from India. Now the question arises, who was this Deva Sahayam? Now Deva Sahayam, although his original name was not Deva Sahayam, his original name was Nilakandan Pillai. He took the name Deva Sahayam or Lazarus. The meaning of Lazarus, it roughly translates to Deva Sahayam itself, that means helping the God. Nilakandan was born on April 23, 1712 to a Hindu couple Vasudevan and Devaki in Palliadi village in near Nattalam in Kanyakumari. At that time, in the 18th century, it was a part of princely state of Travancore. As I told you, his original name was Nilakandan Pillai. His father Vasudevan was an influential person in the Travancore government. So he got a job for Nilakandan with the government itself. In fact, Nilakandan Pillai was an official at the court of Travancore's Maharaja Martanda Varma when he was instructed into Catholic faith by a Dutch naval commander in 1745. Now, what happened? How did he accept or embrace Christianity? See, in 1741, the Dutch Navy, it attempted to capture Kolachal port in Kanyakumari. Although the attempt was unsuccessful, the Dutch were defeated. The Dutch captain, Eutatius de Lenoy, was imprisoned. Later on, Lenoy was pardoned by the king and he was affixed with the Travancore army. See, Lenoy was a very experienced, skilled military strategist. So he rose in the ranks of Travancore. He gained the trust of the king and he became a very important military commander. During this time, in 1945, Lenoy inspired Nilakandan Plele to embrace Christianity. So Nilakandan was converted to Christianity. He took the name of Lazarus, which roughly translates to Deva Sahayam, meaning servant to the God or helper of the God. But after this conversion, things were not smooth for Deva Sahayam. Deva Sahayam faced the wrath of Travancore state. See, Travancore state, it had strict rules against conversion. So after converting, according to the Vatican press, he was charged with treason and espionage and he was arrested. He was divested from his post from the Travancore government. He was imprisoned and he was subjected to harsh persecution. And the Vatican press says that on 14th January 1752, just after seven years of embracing Christianity, Deva Sahayam was shot dead in a forest. Since then, he has been considered as a martyr by the Catholic community in the entire South India. The remains of Deva Sahayam are at the St. Francis Xavier Cathedral in the Diocese of Kottar in Tamil Nadu. Now, after this end, how exactly he has attained sainthood? 
The road to sainthood was long and arduous. In 2004, the Diocese of Kottar and Kanyakumari along with Tamil Nadu Bishop Council, they asked or they recommended Deva Sahayam for beatification process. We will understand what is the meaning of this term beatification in some time. So from 2004, this recommendation went to the Vatican. From 2004 to 2012, an investigation took place about the virtues, about the life of Deva Sahayam and eventually in 2012, he was declared blessed first. In 2012 itself, Pope Benedict the 16 called Deva Sahayam a faithful layman. That is why the term layman has become connected to Deva Sahayam. He will be the first layman person or a lay person from India to attain that sainthood. Last year in February 2020, the Vatican announced that Deva Sahayam was eligible for sainthood. Now we will understand why this happened, what is this eligibility criteria also. Eventually, in 2021, in November, the Vatican has made it official that Deva Sahayam will be declared a saint. From May 15, 2022, he will be a saint. He will be the first layman saint from India. Getting this sainthood is quite prestigious. That means a person after being declared saint, that means they are in heaven with God. Normally, whenever the, the saint or the order of the saint is declared, then a picture of that saint comes with a halo behind their head and they become divine and blessed. Now the question arises, who exactly is a saint? I, I told you the comparison, saint in Christianity to guru in Sikhism or the rishis or sages in Hinduism. Saint is someone in Christianity, saint is someone who is good and holy. Someone who has led the life of heroic virtues. What are these heroic virtues? Four basic virtues given by Cicero way back, prudence, temperance, fortitude and justice. A person who shows these virtues throughout their lifetime, they are eligible for sainthood. Apart from that, they also have to show some theological virtues like faith, hope and charity. So a saint is a person who displays these virtues or these qualities in a consistent and exceptional way. Now the question is, how can someone become a saint? The first thing that you need to know a person cannot become a saint when they are alive. The road to sainthood, it starts only after the death. And the process of being named a saint by the Catholic Church is called canonization. So canonization has two steps. See, first step is the recommendation for beatification. Once it is accepted, they go through the process of beatification and eventually sainthood is declared. Now, we saw that the Tamil Nadu Bishops Council, they recommended Deva Sahayam for beatification. Now, once this beatification recommendation is accepted by the Vatican, then an arduous and a cumbersome process of investigation takes place. You saw in 2004, he was recommended for beatification. Eventually, in 2012, he was declared blessed. And in 2020, after 16 years, he was declared a saint. What happens during this beatification? It's a four-step investigation process. The life of the person is dissected. People are called to give evidence. People are called for testimonials to understand the life of that person. And eventually, after a thorough investigation, after different actors, then they are declared saint. And who declares a person as saint? It is ultimately the Pope through a decree by the Vatican. They declare a person as a saint. Now the question arises, who is eligible to become a saint? Because in February 2020, Deva Sahayam was declared to be eligible to become a saint. What is this eligibility criteria? See, there are five criteria according to the Vatican official news service. The first criteria is an individual must freely and voluntarily offer their life. This comes under the category of martyr. There must be a close relation between the offering of one's life and the premature death that one offers. All these things are investigated once the beatification process begins. They must be a person showing Christian virtues. They must have a reputation of holiness at least after their death. And finally, the fifth criteria is they must have performed a miracle. Again, this, this, is, the, this is the prerogative of Vatican itself. Please remember there are different types of saints also. The, this category where Deva Sahayam is put, he is a martyr saint. Then there are some confessor saints who undergo a, a lot of uh, exploitation, a lot of violence by other people. And then there are miracle saints who perform miracles also. So different type of sainthood is also there. Martyrs, confessors, the miracles, etc. That's the procedure to become a sainthood. And now 
Deva Sahayam from 2022 is going to become a martyr saint, first Indian layman saint declared by the Catholic Church. That is it from my side on this part of lecture. Thank you for watching this. Jai Hind.